Gravity, A Heavy Lesson, Part 3, Finding Lowercase g, the Gravitational Acceleration. Recall from our previous two lessons, we're learning about the famous little prince, and he wants to know what speed he would need to throw a rock so it goes around his world and comes right back again in a perfectly circular orbit. What speed do you need to throw the rock straight up for it to never fall back again? But in order to know this, he needs to know something about the gravity of his little world, B612. But the gravity depends on the mass. He doesn't know the mass of his world. Here is the first of three ways he determines the gravitational acceleration and hence will weigh his world. The first way, he drops his rock. We know that if he drops his rock, we can solve for the gravitational acceleration by timing how long it takes to fall a height h. If he drops it from a height 1 meter, it takes 24 seconds on his world. So therefore, what's the gravitational acceleration? Here's the second way. He takes his rock and swings it, allowing it to swing back and forth thanks to gravity, pivoting back and forth from a length of a shoestring, 30 centimeters, he times how long it takes. It takes it 60 seconds to swing back and forth on this pendulum. He puts it into the equation for the period of a pendulum relating to gravity. And what does he find for the gravitational acceleration now? Here's the third way, a little prince figures out the gravity of his world. He takes his rock, hangs it on a spring. He times how long it takes the rock to vibrate back and forth on this simple spring. The period of time it takes relates to the mass of the rock and the spring constant. Choose a period of time and a mass of rock and solve for a spring constant of your choice. Now, the force of the spring pulls up on the rock and the force of gravity pulls down. Well, when the rock stops vibrating, the net force is zero. When the rock is at rest, that means the force of the spring is equal to the force of gravity. So once you determine the spring constant and the change in length of the spring, change in length being from the rock hanging on the spring to when the rock, when the spring doesn't have a rock attached, that change in length of the spring times it by the spring constant you found and the mass of the rock determines the third way to find the gravitational acceleration of the little prince's world. Now at these three ways, from the fall, from the pendulum, and from the spring, the little prince can weigh his world, find out how massive it is. If he knows how massive the, his world is, he can find the circular speed needed for the rock to come right back again in a circular orbit, and the speed it needs to escape. What does he find? Does he have enough, can, is it slow enough for the, for the little prince to throw the rock and have it come right back around his world, or to throw it up again? Or can this prince even jump off his world 